How do you spell excitement? Odds are you'd do a better job than these pre-game vandals in 1983. That year's Bell Battle pitted 5-3 Wabash against 6-3 DePaul. And what a humdinger it turned out to be. It was 10-6 Little Giants late in the third quarter when running back Mike Cummings fumbled on the visitors' 17-yard line. A few plays later, Tiger quarterback Chip Jordan hit Rich Bonacorsi on this short TD pass, and DePaul took the lead. A field goal later made it 16-10. With about a minute and a half left in the game, Wabash, driving from their own 33, connects on three big plays from quarterback Steve Hoffman. This one for 16, another for 14, and a third for 17 yards. Again, they're down by six and time is tight. It's third down and 10 with 13 seconds to go in the game. Hoffman back to pass, Some pressure coming, throwing deep for Sirkovic, it is complete. Nick is, stop the clock at the one yard line with four seconds to go. They say Nick did not get in. DePaul calls a timeout for Wabash with a 41-40 and 8 lead in the all-time series. It all comes down to one play. Tim Branson goes wide to the left. Frank Harmon wide to the right. Kaiser and DeGrice in the backfield. Sirkovich the tight end on the right. Hoffman gonna roll to his right. He throws for Harmon and broken out. Tiger assistant coach Tim Reha said it looked like a sure TD. But then sophomore Eric Raw, starting his first collegiate game at strong side cornerback, came out of nowhere to knock the pass away. One second on the clock, no it's not. And that ends the game just like that, Steve. It looked to be a good play call. After the game, DePaul head coach Nick Morosa suffered a cut requiring five stitches while ringing the Monon bell. When asked if his hand hurt, Morosa said, it feels a whole lot better when I look at the bell here in our locker room. 